The title of this poster is Evaluating the Capabilities and Challenges of Layer fMRI VASO at 3T. My name is Renzo Huber, and this is a collaboration between the University of Salzburg, the DZNA in Bonn, and the University of Maastricht. And we are all interested in high-resolution functional layer-dependent fMRI, which is conventionally done at the strongest scanners there are. So here we have one of the very few 9.4 Tesla scanners that work in the world, which is a very big machine dedicated to go to very, very small voxels, specifically for layer fMRI. While the 9.4 Tesla gives great data, it's not so easy to use. So here we have a classical 70 scanner, which is way more user-friendly and also gives good data. However, it's still expensive and not so accessible. So the goal of this study is to see if we can use the more accessible three Tesla scanners, like this one, to also extract layer-dependent blood volume information. But first we need a good sequence. And this is where Rüdiger Stirnberg comes into play. Hi, I'm Rüdiger Stirnberg. In 2018, we proposed the 3D EPIT1 mapping technique with flexible Calperinia view ordering. Renzo realized that this is also super practical for VASO imaging because the Tova factor can be adjusted freely to meet the blood nulling condition. In this toy example of nine partitions, we get the complete case based data of a blood nulled and a bold image using a Tova factor of three. We actually acquired 120 slices combining three by two fold case based undersampling with an in plane segmentation factor of two. As the magnetization preparation shots are increased up to 4, the turbo factor decreases and the first inversion ends up at about 1.2 seconds as needed. The final view ordering looked something like this. We have successfully installed this sequence at our free Tesla PrismaFit scanner at the Christian Doppler University Hospital in Salzburg. We have now three sequences available, all of them with around 0.8 mm resolution one for the motor cortex, one for the visual cortex, and we are especially proud of that free Tesla whole brain vasobolt sequence that allows us whole brain coverage at 0.8 mm isotropic resolution. This whole brain free Tesla vaso sequence was developed to explore the possibilities of whole brain connectocomb and connectivity mapping using vasobolt fMRI and was successfully used in first pilot testing. We hope that the usability of layer fMRI at 3 Tesla will increase the accessibility from about 100 ultra high field sites to a much wider community. In fact, we started to share our sequences already with a few sites and are looking forward to more. Thank you for your attention.